back to another video. Welcome back to the True Miracle. Today we're going to be uh, doing unpopular opinions. So let's get right into the video. The first unpopular opinion: Cool Ranch is better than Nacho Doritos. I think it depends on when you're eating them. Like them Nacho Doritos, be hidden so different after the um pool. Excuse me, excuse me, y'all see like here's something I forgot about all, but. Yeah, they be hitting so different. But I personally think the Nacho Doritos are better than the Cool, cool Ranch. <laughs> the Cool Ranch one. So let me know what you think down below. You can be in love with someone and still cheat. I totally disagree because I feel as though if you're in love with somebody, you will not be cheating, and that's just that. That's just that on period. Because like, no, like if you really, if you're really in love with someone, you just wouldn't be cheating. Like you wouldn't even find the need to go to somebody else and like be doing anything else with anybody else. And that's just that. I feel good. All dudes are trash. I disagree. I actually disagree. Cause I feel like there's really like some good genuine gentlemen out there. But there's a lot of dudes that are actually trash. Like trash. Just straight trash. But I do feel as though a lot of good girls get treated bad. And then they just think all the rest of dudes are trash. Same thing with dudes. Like dudes get heartbroken one time and this is just forget our relationships but do all these girls bad because i got done wrong like i don't know i don't think all these are trash like there's some really good ones out there it's just rare to find because everybody think everybody hurt everybody like hurt now these days not these days so it's like i don't know it just depends when you find a good one though keep keep him or her keep them you can't get through life without getting a college degree I disagree because there's some people out here with just a license and that didn't go through college and got a degree and didn't get a degree and they're making just as much money as somebody with a degree it just depends on who you know how you can network and how good you are at your job like and that's just that a lot of people do youtube make a lot of money and they didn't get a college degree so i think it just depends on what you're doing who you know and your ground like that's just that trump should have won the election <laughs> what trump running winning the election no i'm sorry if you a trump supporter i personally just feel as though biden was out of those out of the two that we had i just feel like though biden was a better option and as you see he won so yeah racism will never end I feel as though racism will end when we end it. Like it can end, but like I said again, it's taught. So when people stop teaching their kids to be racist and stop teaching their kids to see the color of their skin and stop, stop teaching their kids that black people and people of other colors are lower than them, then it may end. But as of right now, it is still here. And it's so sad because it's been going on for hundreds of years. So yeah, it, it, it right now it's not gonna end, but if we, take it and put it in our hands with this next generation, put it in our hands to teach our kids not to be racist, then it may end. The shade room is toxic. Yes, the shade room is toxic. I just followed the shade room when that whole thing with like Darren can't happen because people was just sending me that and I was like, what is going on? Like, it, this can't be true. Like, it can't be true. But yeah, it's very toxic because they like, sometimes people find out stuff on their first before they even find out themselves. Like, it's just the shade room is toxic but they have a lot of juicy stuff but the thing is all the comments on there are negative like you never see anything really positive like it may be something positive people just comment negative stuff on it so yeah it is toxic it's very toxic but they don't keep doing what they're doing that's just that people are still going to keep supporting it because they want drama um tiktok is overrated i feel like so tiktok is kind of overrated kind of it depends on what's on your for you page and what you like but TikTok, it's it's straight. It's straight. It's, it just depends on what's on your for you, page, for you page and what kind of stuff you like. But, I mean, that's the platform that people, some people use to get paid and stuff like that, just like YouTube. So, I think it just depends on, like, what you like and what you use TikTok for, personally. The Black Lives Matter is not a trend. It's not a trend. It's a movement. Trends sometimes end. This is a movement and we're going to keep supporting Black Lives Matter 
and we're gonna keep doing what we're doing until black people get justice and that's just that like that is just that because no it is not a trend it is a movement and that's just on period like bit dot like no period 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 period, period. period. The black community is hateful towards each other. That is very true. Like, honestly, that is very true. Because I feel as though the black community is very competitive. Like, everything is a competition, especially in sports, academics even. Like, everything is a competition in the black community. Like, we, instead of being a competition, we're helping each other get to the next level. Like, when you make it, bring some people with you. Like, everything's just a competition. Oh, I made it. Now y'all, now y'all make it. Like, a lot of people don't want to give out that hand to like help people when we should be helping each other because these, these white people against us regardless. So like I was saying, like like the black people is the black community is against each other and hateful towards each other. And I feel as though we won't make much progress until we fix that. I, people's looks don't matter as much as their personality. This is what I'm saying. So you're saying people's looks don't matter as much as their personality. Personality just, just matters more than looks. Because you can be the prettiest girl ever. You can be the most fond dude ever. And your personality is just boring. Like, completely boring. Like, you don't even like, like, all you want to do is smoke. All you want to do is drink. Like, where's the personality at? Like, where's the personality? Like, serious? Like, really, sir? Really, man? Like, where's the personality at? All you want to do is party, smoke, drink. Like, can we laugh? Can we talk? Can we talk about what's going on in the world? Can we go ride school to downtown do some stuff fun? Like, yeah, that's very true. But looks do matter too, because you can't be ugly. You cannot be ugly, I'm sorry. You cannot be ugly. Lovely Peaches needs to be canceled. Lovely Peaches, <sighs> she just be doing too much, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know if y'all saw that video when some, these people was like eating at the table or whatever and she just got in there like started twerking and stuff like that like don't nobody want to see that like don't nobody want to see all of that like you're doing too much sweetie you're doing way too much but i thought that she should be canceled because it's just so much that she's done that i don't know why y'all why some people are still supporting her they find it so funny when it shouldn't be funny because she's very disrespectful I was apologizing to children. Yes, that is true because children do have feelings, just as though adults have feelings. Like I feel as though a lot of adults take it as like, oh, you don't agree with me, so that's me being that's a child being disrespectful. No, they they have opinions too. They have feelings too. They're just saying how they feel, and that's just that. They don't have to always agree with you. Like just because they're agreeing, they're not agreeing with you doesn't mean they're trying to be disrespectful. They're just trying to say their opinion, just like you're trying to say your opinion, and that's just that. Like I feel so that's uh, that's huge problem in parenting today like a lot of especially in the black community like a lot of um teenagers children stuff like that try to say their opinion and parents find it disrespectful because you're not agreeing with them or you're just trying to state how you feel when it's not like that ketchup is not supposed to be in the refrigerator who raised you ketchup goes in the refrigerator i'm sorry you don't put, after you open it, you don't put ketchup in the refrigerator. I mean, people, kitchen's different, but I personally put it in the refrigerator. That's just me. Um, pregnancy is a choice because you choose the option to have sex. I mean, if you're using a condom, I don't know. That's just a touchy. I don't know. I don't think it's all the time a choice because people are on birth control. Some people use condoms and stuff like that. Like, you can have sex and not plan on having a kid, but I feel as though kids come when they're supposed to come. Like, I don't know, I feel like kids are a blessing. But I ain't gonna have a kid, but to all the mothers out there, kids are like blessings. Stop chasing for love, let it come to you. Oh my God! Wow! To you. That's that. Like, I totally agree with that. I agree with that. Like, that's something that I had to learn. Like, you just have to let stuff come to you. Like, you can't force anything. You can't force anybody to love you. You can't force anybody to mess with you and stuff like that. You have to let it come to you. Like, you can't force anybody, oh, I want him. Let me go text him. Let me go shoot my shot. Like, no, let it just come to you naturally. And if it's meant for you, it will happen. Like, anything that's meant will happen. And that's just that on period. Like, anything that is meant for you will happen regardless of how hard it is, regardless of what happened in the past, regardless of what anybody thinks. 
anybody anything or anybody that's meant for you will come to you and that's just that gay history should be taught in the school i feel as though that is true because i feel as just like i feel like more black history should be taught in school and not the same thing every year like i feel as though gay history should be taught in school also because i feel as though that will allow the gay community to be more accepted with people like i feel as though a lot of people would just say oh he's gay oh she's gay like i just feel as though like if it was taught like people will have like an open mind and they'll actually have knowledge on the community so yeah i feel like it should be taught in schools like i feel like that's a great idea um there isn't a talking stage it's just dating dating does not mean a committed relationship that is very true i feel like that's a talking stage i don't even think there's a talk talking stage because if you're talking in a talking stage you can be talking to most, most people if you're dating I don't know if you're dating because people take talking as oh i can talk to all these people and that's just that but if you're dating i feel like so you shouldn't be dating other people so i feel like so talk like if you're dating you're talking to them and that's just that like if y'all talking if y'all vibing or whatever y'all want to call it you guys are dating if you go if you're talking and you go out on a date you guys are dating like it's not like an outing it's a date and that's just that sweet tea is nasty i totally agree i hate sweet tea like i hate sweet tea the only time i drink sweet tea sweet tea it's if it's like in lemonade and it's like more lemonade than tea but i don't drink sweet tea at all like i'm not person like oh give me some sweet tea like no thanks you i don't drink sweet tea like i just don't drink sweet tea like it's disgusting to me toxic parents are worse than absent ones i think they're both the same they're both about the same because they're both about the same because sometimes having a toxic parent is just like having an absent parent because you don't really want to deal with the toxic parent either like yeah i feel as though they're the same Rihanna is not talented. What? What? You got Fenty, Savage, all of that. Like, Rihanna isn't talented. She. Sorry. I'm sorry. Rihanna is talented. Like, yes. Like, Rihanna is not bae. Like, Rihanna is not bae. And that's just that. She's bae. the best condiment yes i love me some ranch ranch fries ranch kiss the deals with ranch deals so good Whew. so good but ranch with fries ranch kiss the deal like i love ranch like y'all put ranch in the, i put ranch in the refrigerator y'all put ranch in the refrigerator i thought ranch should go in the refrigerator um syrup is nasty what you eat your pancakes and waffles with and bacon and egg i put stuff in my eggs y'all do that i put stuff in my eggs it's so good it's so good the church is toxic i agree i think i don't think all churches are toxic but the church in general like some churches are very toxic like sir some churches are very judgmental like and it's the truth but all churches are not toxic but as long as you're going to church to get a relationship with god so as long as you focus on that don't worry about what nobody else say because at the end of the day everybody got to face god so i wouldn't be worried about nobody what nobody else got what nobody else think because no <laughs> those things is okay everybody does not need an explanation explanation for me like if you want to go somebody goes them like it just depends on what happened but every day everybody does not everybody does not deserve an explanation like yeah that's just that like yeah country music is actually good yes country music is really good like <laughs> life is overrated very like very overrated like why are we the only ones that pay to live here like the dogs don't pay to live here we pay for everything who said i want to be a human let go and be a dog, a dolphin, a shark. Like, we're the only ones that pay to live here. Everyone cannot be trash. Sometimes we are a problem that we need to fix. That's very true. Like, if every relationship ain't working for you and everybody calling you toxic, you may be the problem. I'm just saying, you may be the problem. Like, if it's always something, if people keep telling you the same thing about yourself, are you keep any relationship you know been back like 10 relationships and you only like 18 like maybe you're the problem maybe 
Maybe. Maybe it's them, but maybe you're the problem. Not on the team, you're the problem. A lot of people don't aren't accountable. Like they need to like before they go accuse somebody else, they need to examine their self. And that's just that's just that. That's just that. Um money can buy happiness. I feel like that's not true, but I'd rather cry in the Bahamas and Dubai rather than Ohio or some state like that. Like, but and I think I don't think money can buy temporary happiness. But money can't buy genuine and forever happiness. But that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friend to 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 tell your grandma to tell your auntie to tell your mama and your daddy to subscribe to my channel. Follow my social medias; they'll be down below. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye, angels.